of doing something in the interest of the nation. We are saying what you did at that time has put the nation in more mess economically. And therefore, because of the current economic situation, we have found ourselves that there is need for us to look at the details yes. and to know whether they were rightly spent. But then there is somebody that must, 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 must make a statement on this issue. Senate President Emeritus, this means Senator Ahmed Lawan, just say a word so that we can go into the next issue. Well, thank you. And you called me to speak. And of course, something else happened. So I had to sit down. I have two issues to speak to. First of all, there is nothing that the National Assembly that makes laws on them that cannot look at them and consider them. If there were expenditures wrongfully, wrongly done in contradiction to the provisions of the Constitution, the National Assembly can look at the expenditures and if sanctions are needed, for unlawful or wrong or unauthorized expenditures, the National Assembly can provide the sanctions. That is one. Secondly, Mr. President, what the Ninth National Assembly approved or ratified in terms of ways and means was not 29 or 30 trillion. It was 22, but there was 819 billion to attend to, to deal and address very serious infrastructural uh, dilapidations that we had across the country. So it was not 30 trillion. It was 22. And then, of course, the one we had made it 20, almost 23. So if we have a waste and means that is 30 today, that means something happened between then and now. And it's for the National Assembly to find out what happened. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, nobody in this chamber should suggest that we shouldn't look to anything that we feel is in the public interest. But let me say this very clearly. What Nigerians want today is food. What Nigerians want today is food and security. This belongs to the medium term or long term action that we need to take. How are we going to provide food for Nigerians and protect their lives tomorrow or from today? This report talks about it. Mr. President, let's, let's not put the cart before the horse. Let's consider it necessary to look at what happened in the past. But we are in the present and the present is so unpleasant. And we have to work to act very, very swiftly. Thank you very much. Uh, I even though the ways and means were part of the things that have put us where we are today. That, uh, uh, no, no, we are saying that, we are saying that the expenses, the expenses that were not explained, the expenses that we don't have details about, put us in the indebtedness that we are seeing today. The expenses that we don't have details put us in the indebtedness that we have today. And therefore has affected even the ability of government to provide essential uh, needs and services for the public. That we need to look into those things. However, that what is facing us today is a current food situation. Food crisis, immediate crisis. So we need to look at what we can do in the immediate to put food on the table of Nigerians. And that, that, that is the most emergency we have. And then the aspect of looking at what went on, whether ways or means, whether anchor borrowers program, whether intervention funds, whatever, those are things that uh, constitutionally we are empowered to do, and we shall do so. And if we need to do so, we can agree here on how we, were, we are going to take care of those things. But let us look at this report and see the recommendations that can assist the federal government to bring the current food insecurity to a minimal uh, level and, uh, uh, and then stop the discomfort. I think that's what we are looking at. So let's, uh, look, let's, uh, let's uh, look at resolution 4.1.
the recommendation here. And then we can we amend them into three parts. The first part will be the issue of uh, uh, oh, by the way, why we got to 30 trillion was because of the interest element. Uh, they brought that before this current Senate, that the interest had accrued on the 23 trillion that was passed by the 9th Senate, and that it was, uh, they needed an additional approval of 7 trillion, which was uh, uh, the interest. interest. So we passed, uh, we passed the interest, and then that's what added to become uh, 30 trillion. Okay, so uh, recommendation one. Who is going to uh, propose the first, uh, uh, the first, because we are going to break them into three or so. Sen Senator Yaya, see whether you can propose the first and second. Thank you, Mr. President. Clear to everyone. Ways I mean is supposed to be a temporary overdraft that is extended by CBN to the executive of our government. Now, use your mind. Now, when you have this kind of situation, it could be, it could be due to an emergency. It, it could be due to emergency. Now, that was the, you know, it is expected if the executive government and the legislature are on the same page, particularly where the government has majority in the Senate or in the National Assembly, it is expected we we'll always collaborate and assist the Israeli government in the case of emergency. And when those requests were brought here, we knew they were done due to certain situations of emergency. Now, we said, yes, we are going to pass it. In fact, but why did you even put it together this way? The three trillion. They said they were because of certain situations that were urgent. We said, now, okay, we are going to pass it, but bring your details later. Bring your details later. And it was a collective action by the Senate. And that was done. Even today, if President Tinubu brings in. Uh, 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 please. Uh, the President Tinubu will not bring 30 trillion uh, ways and means. Let us, we are talking about 30 trillion ways and means. We are not talking about, I, 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 you know, I can't, but I can only appeal to the Deputy Senate President to stick to the issues here. We are talking about 30 trillion ways and means, not what President Tinubu can bring. This Senate will not rubber stamp anything that we feel is not in the interest of Nigerians. And that is the reason why we are discussing. Am I right or wrong? Those who are in support of what the Senate President is saying, say, aye. Those again say, nay. So the uh, DSP, stick to the issue. Okay. Now, okay. Senator uh, Ndume, yes, you were there when the, uh, the ways and means were approved. I was not there. <laughs> <laughs> I was not there. But the Senate, the Senate passed it. He was part of the parliament. <laughs> okay, sir. Check. I was not there. Check the record. And as I said, number one, wait now. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot approve illegality. What they did was illegal. The Senate doesn't have the right. Let it be on record. I was not there. I was not there. Check the record. I was not there, but you were there. I, uh, but I was not there. I was not there. I was not there. Go and check the record. Well, I, I in my view, so, sorry. Uh, yeah, distinguished senator. Yeah. No, not you. Let's let's hear from him. Uh, Mr. President, my name is Mustafa Habib, representing the people of Jigal Southwest. Uh, I think Chief <laughs> with I I have the floor. I have the floor. <laughs> Mr. P I want you to know that uh, Senator Ndume 
Senator John Dume. Senator John Dume cannot remember being there when the thing was done. Okay, 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 okay. Mr. President, please sit down. Let me just give you a little bit of a guide. What the older senators who were in the last nine Senate are saying is that the total amount of this uh, 30 trillion were brought before them for approval so that the records could be set straight. But however, that they left the caveat that yes, we can approve this, but we want to see the details. And that up to now, the details have not been provided. That the only detail provided is the one contained in the 819 supplementary appropriation of 2022, which is the 819 billion less than 1 trillion, so 29 trillion plus of this amount. And in addition, Mr. Speaker, it's very important. This body, Senate, look at the Constitution. It has right of approval only. It doesn't have the right when money has been spent for you to rectify. We don't have the right to rectify. We only have the right to approve. Check the Constitution. This is a very serious matter. As the GS said, what this chamber approved was 840, 819. And we said that the other monies that has been spent cumulatively to, was it 20 something trillion? That the details should be provided. It has never been provided to date. This committee or whatever should find out what happened to the money. And some people must be held responsible. Or at least they should come and explain to this Senate what they did with the money. Now it's time that people are looking for their money anywhere. Where is that money? That should be the big question. Mr. President. In addition to also the loans given to state governments, we also have loans given to manufacturing sector. Uh, some of these companies that took this loan, they have, they have not returned it. We have colossal amount of money given to the banks. And this amount runs into trillions of naira. So um, we need to really interrogate this. And this course, distribution companies, they also they, they, they were also given money by the CBN. So this money need to be returned to CBN in order to get out of the wood. I believe if we do this, it will help the economy to improve tremendously. So uh, I am in support of the, uh, uh, the, the prayer already proposed by uh, Senator Ehab Abdullahi and supported by Senator uh, Ali Indimbe. So, so we should begin the amendment of uh, the, uh, so. For information, Mr. President, each state government each state government in 2023 was given 18 billion naira. At once, some of the governors that benefited from that 18 billion naira are here. I'm sure Governor Lalo can confirm that. And they did not, and and, uh, and they did not, and they did not repay the money by the time they came to this Senate. Thank you, Senate President. Let me also rise to agree with um, Dr. Yahya to a certain extent, but to also remind him, like the 2015, when the government was a recession, the excess 
crude account was in operation. So instead of sharing $2 billion, it was decided that $1 billion should be given to the governors then. And the repayment will be from the proceeds of the $2 billion to be shared. But I agree that there were a series of repayments that were done for some states. But I know there are some states that did not repay. For 2023, there were a lot of money that was shared to state governments as shock absorber. That was a grant, and that was not repaid. The source of money, nobody knows where it came from. But the major source of this 30 billion, which was approved by this chamber at the time, was from the funding of our various budgets. You don't want us to say, but these budgets are still running. Supplementary 2023 is running. 2024 is running. 2022 is running. So we should find a way to harmonize these budgets to stop running in such a way that we can contain the quantum of money supply into the system. Whatever the Serbian governor will say here today, he doesn't know the extents of money that are going into the system. I know so many people in this chamber will say, would not say it, but let us harmonize that one to reduce the quantum of the ways and means that is in circulation. Three, there are also, there are also other funding of other programs of government. You know, like the Anko Borowa, like so many other initiatives that were done by the central bank, which are through ways and means, which have been categorized to be irrecoverable. So no matter how you want to write them off, it's either you collect them back, if it's Anko Borowa from the farmers, if it is industrial uh, uh, financing from those you have given, those monies, or make it in such a way, like doctors say, like a grant, but over a period of time. Yes, yes. So I agree, I agree that a special committee should be set up to look at this one in particular. You know, not that we will sit down and be covering defense and be protecting ourselves, you know, so that the truth will be known about the embodiment of all this 30 trillion and how we will properly take care of it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So Thank you, Mr. President. I'm happy that we've come back to this prayer number one, 4.1. You were not here when I contributed to the debate on this report. I pointed out that this 4.1 on ways and means says the government should prioritize liquidating the 30, million, 30 trillion ways and means obligation of the federal government through a quicker resolution mechanism. I said that, that recommendation is not precise. Quicker resolution mechanism instead of the securitization for 40 years. And from the way it, the discussion has come up now, this clarification, clarification introduced by DSP has now made that provision very imprecise. If some people spent money before bringing it to the parliament for approval or appropriation, where did they get the money they spent? Because they spent money and they came here to look for approval over money they have spent. Now it's not an obligation again. It is classified as obligation, 30 trillion. This debt overhang, Mr. President, is responsible for the problems we are having. This 30 trillion debt overhang, which nobody says he knows the detail how they spent that money outside 890 something billion with this parliament, this Senate, 
approved. 800 and something billion, they approved. So about 20 something trillion, they knew nothing about it. They didn't know how the, the money was spent, what it was spent on. And we're carrying it on. So the committee recommended that there should be, it should be the liquidation of that 30 trillion should be prioritized. Liquidation should be prioritized. It means that the, we should be able to uh, take care of it through quicker resolution mechanism. So they didn't say what this quicker resolution mechanism will be. They didn't say it. Uh, this is uh, Senator Omer. Let's, let me let me guide greens like maize, uh, uh, sorghum, and uh, and beans are produced instead of zamfara. Uh, can, no, no, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. States, states of zamfara, right? KB, Sokoto, Katsina, and even cotton, and then Benue, you have yam, and then Niger. What I'm saying is this, please. The, the school agency are doing very well, but they should, they should put more emphasis. Wait, excuse me, excuse me. No, Yobe is okay. Yobe, Yobe is getting all right. It's better. Yobe is better than Zamfara now. It's better than KB. So what we are saying, more emphasis should be put in this state so that we don't have this crisis we're having. It's for the interest of the nation. You have more problem there. We are, we, no, we know, wait, excuse me, excuse me. I know we have this problem in the entire nation, but let's put emphasis. It's more in these areas, and these are where you have you grow food. This is a food basket. Cape is there, of course. Cape is there. It's for intervention, like Yobe, like Yobe. Okay, are boy, are boy, are Okay, including a boy, including a boy. It's, I think the, the, we must conform to our rules. Debate is over. So those who are in support of the amendment that en engaging with security agencies to combat insecurity and food supply across the nation, those in support as amended say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. <laughs> okay, I just have to go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. My distinguished colleagues, Mohammed Adamo Alero is my name. I represent KB Center. Mr. President, I have looked at all these recommendations. M more than can also do implementation. So, in view of this, I will suggest that uh, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, that's my additional prayer, should collaborate with the state government to implement all the, all the recommendations that have shared responsibility. Okay, but even local government if you want. I, I, saw, I saw support for the collaboration. Distinguished colleagues, those in support of the additional prayer are second, they say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. So, let me, in conclusion, let me thank uh, the joint committees on banking, insurance, and other financial institutions. National Planning, the uh, Committee on Agriculture, Appropriation, and all the other committees that took part in the interaction with the Federal Government Economic Team, Economic Management Team, on the state of the economy of the nation. Which meeting took place on the 9th day of February, 2024. And I want to thank my distinguished colleagues for your contributions and also thank you for the recommendations so approved and hope that these recommendations, uh, were, when uh, implemented, will immediately assist us to ameliorate the current uh, uh, scarcity of food and the high inflation 
in the country and make food available and affordable to all Nigerians. And I'm also thankful, I must also thank my colleagues for the decision to interrogate particularly the, the totality of the ways and means, including the interest rate, including what the details of the expenses were, even though approval was earlier given by the 9th Senate, and the interest part of it was given by the 10th Senate, the details should be made available for all distinguished senators and Nigerians to know for purposes of economic transparency. I also thank you for that decision. Above all, I thank you for the recommendations that I believe strongly would uh, uh, help to reduce the current uh, scarcity of food in the country and, and, um, and has given the federal government the latitude to do all it could and uh, take any necessary action to ensure that uh, uh, the food is made available for all Nigerians at affordable cost and particularly reduce the liquidity, uh, liquidity ratio in the country by ensuring that uh, the uh, inflation is curbed, recoveries are made, and the CBN is strengthened to be able to do its uh, uh, job. So now the uh, various committees must also undertake oversight. We will now further go ahead to announce the, the actual committee to investigate the 30 trillion ways and means shall be announced tomorrow. I thank you. Yes, leader of the Senate.